my immediate family pretended to be Catholic, so I'd get into a better school. Um, yeah, yeah, classic that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Hallows is a better school than, than, yeah. The other one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will um, christen my kids if they can go to St. Margaret Mary's, the school I went to. Good um, school, that. Well, a lot of people do do that. Yeah. Um, it's So here's, here's a thing that happens that doesn't officially happen, but I'll tell you that it happens. So basically, you're not allowed to choose what kids you get, right? So at year seven... School, schools. Schools. Yeah. yeah. I mean schools. <laughs> Madonna did. Yay! <laughs> 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 oh, okay, no. um, so what will happen is at year seven, what should happen is the kids that just get dumped there are just the fucking kids that get dumped there. And if you get a particularly thick cohort of kids, then you just have to fucking make it work. Yeah. But what... Who has to make it work? The school just has to make it work. They have to make them get good grades. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's if it. religion is put in as a so, little caveat... So, but if religion gets put in as a caveat, then they can begin to pick and choose which kids they take. So, let's say you're a religious school and you have fucking Thicky McThickerson who wants to come to your school and he's going to bring all your grades down because he's a thick cunt. What you can do is you can go, have you been to every fucking Sunday mass for the last 10 years? And the kid's like, well, I missed one. And you're like, you're no, fucking out, I've mate. been going to the SO garage for my breakfast for the last 10 years. <laughs> exactly. I've not been baptised. You'll whereas, be surprised to you. Whereas the clever kids, the ones that you want at the school because they're going to bring the, the grades up, you go, uh, can you say the word God? Yes, great. You, you No, you in. have to go and sit with it. We had to go and sit with the vicar. That's how... I don't know where... That's because you were the thick kid and they were trying to keep you out. No. But you just passed the test. What are you on about? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? No, it wasn't because... It, it was because that's what you had to do to get into school. You had to get a thing from Unless the, you were clever. The clever ones, the ones above you, they just let them in. So yeah. what, what kind of officially, unofficially happens sometimes is that the criteria for letting the clever kids in is a lot looser yes. than the thick ones. And then that way, they can pick and choose which ones they want. And naturally, because they Did get... you have to have a letter from your from the priest, from St. Teresa's, to get in? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's so dodgy when you think about it, isn't it, basically? Oh. So use religion as a, like, we are going to choose who we want. Because we weren't really religious. We My mum just knew how to play the fucking game. So we had to basically just sit there. I remember going to see the vicar, and it was the weirdest, like, you're just sitting and have a cup of tea with him. Mum there, me there, like, oh, so you want to go to this school? Like, no, and I don't want to be in your fucking living room, vicar. We don't even go to your church. And we all did this nice smiley thing, and then he writes a letter, and you get in a C of E grammar school. Like, it's horrible. Oh, yeah, and the thing I is as well, is it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, because what happens is they take the best kids, the best kids, the, the best academic kids, they then get the best results, and they look like the best school. And yeah. then so more people want to go to it because they think it's the best school. Half the time, these Catholic schools aren't the best schools, really. It's just they take the best kids, so naturally they get the best fucking conspiracy. results. Conspiracy. There's a God conspiracy going on. The oh, there's definitely definitely I, a conspiracy with religion and education in this in this country. I uh, I went to do that sit-down thing with the priest to get into Cardinal Heenan from uh, St. Margaret Mary's. So St. Margaret Mary's is... The, the church, uh, like right in Dovecot where I grew up, the parish club is where we used to drink as a family and stuff. And I was year six or whatever, and our priest was the gayest man. You, like, you knew he was gay three weeks before you met him. Do you know what I mean? How did you get in the school, Adam? Well, I got in the school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Adam's a very bright student. <laughs> wasn't wasn't asked to give you three weeks warning, though. He's <laughs> hungry for knowledge. I uh, I nearly got in a lot of trouble when I asked him in front of me mum and dad. I didn't think God liked you to be gay. Wow! <laughs> Never. He brought tea in, and it, like we, I, I I can barely remember it. I was only young. How gay was he? <laughs> like hey! he, got, he had a doily and everything. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> really? Oh yeah. So he he sat down and he was talking to me about school, and I went, "Can I ask you a question?" And he went, yeah, of course, that's what we're here for. You know, I ask you questions, you ask me questions. And I went, I didn't think God liked it if you were gay. And he went, eh, I'm not gay, I'm married to the church. I don't I don't go near men or <laughs> women. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Is the church a man? <laughs> when we come out, my mum was like, you're a fucking idiot. He's not gay, he's just got a, a like a, an effeminate voice. And I was like, I didn't know, mum. I just I, like, still got in, though. Yeah, I still got in. 
don't know what my fucking dad had to do to make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, your son isn't your son isn't Cardinal Heaton material, but over in that room, Mother Teresa's dying for a shag. <laughs> your, your dad did the thing that Forrest Gump's mum did. <laughs> <laughs> the Cardinal Heenan priest was like, fucking hell, lad. Oh, your dad is very, very interested in your education. <laughs> <laughs>